All right, guys, today's cook is air fried salmon. Salmon is a beautiful thing, one of my absolute favorites, but this 10 minute super quick recipe elevates it to another level, and I know you're gonna absolutely love this. Now, the cost of salmon has gone through the roof. I mean, it's nearly double the price it was, probably even a year ago. So it's becoming a bit of a treat, but I managed to get this uh, for a decent price. So we've got salmon tonight, good news. So the shopping list that you're gonna need is your salmon, you're gonna need some lemons, you're gonna need some olive oil, some mayonnaise, some mustard powder, smoked paprika, some oregano, salt and pepper, you're gonna want some Parmesan cheese, and you're gonna want some breadcrumbs. Any breadcrumbs will do, even if you make them yourselves, but you're gonna need them. So let's cook. The first step is to create our breading setup. And we're gonna want a couple of tablespoons of our breadcrumbs, and then probably one tablespoon of your Parmesan freshly grated. Then for this amount of mixture, I'm using the, the, the zest of one lemon. Make sure that you constantly turn it so you're not getting the white, you want all of the good stuff and make sure you get it all in the bowl. Then you're gonna want about 20 grinds of your black pepper and then you're gonna wanna try and mix this through. Now it's a, a, a different combination of textures but just do your best to try and get the lemon, the parmesan all through the breadcrumbs. We're then gonna uh, need to create a binder. I'm doing this with some mayonnaise, one tablespoon approximately, and then half of a lemon, the juice of a lemon, then about a teaspoon of your oils going into it, a teaspoon of the paprika, a teaspoon of your dried oregano, and then we've gone for about half a teaspoon of the mustard powder. Mustard powder packs so much flavor, goes really, really well with salmon, in my opinion. And then a couple of grinds of salt, not too much, uh, because you know we've got the Parmesan. Then we're gonna need to mix this through. We wanna give this a really good mixy mix because you know we want, we want all of the flavors to be running through this. If you need to loosen up a bit like I did, just put in a little bit of more of your lemon. Then we're gonna cover our salmon in this. Now, if you're normal, you can just paste this over the top and that'll be more than enough. I decided to do it on the sides as well because I obviously like making a right mess as usual, um, but you could just put it on the top, that'd be more than more than sufficient. Then you're gonna get your breadcrumb mix with the Parmesan, all those really nice flavors, and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top, be nice and liberal, uh, loads and loads of this, pack it down so you've got a really nice coating. Now, if you're, if you've done the sides like I did, then you have to try and stick it to the side and you know it's not always gonna be successful. So keep to the top, make sure there's a nice coating, okay? Then you're gonna get your air fryer. There's no need to preheat this bad boy. We're going for a 10 minute cook. Okay, a 10 minute cook, 200 degrees C. You can stick that in the air fryer, click start, and you are good to go. Now. Halfway through, I opened it up and thought I'd give it a little bit of a spritz with the oil, just to make sure there was, you know, where there might have been any dry spots. And then it's done. There's no mucking about, easy peasy, right? So I've served this up with a little bit of mash, but I decided to pimp up this mash with some Parmesan and some honey. Ooh. Just thinking about it sounds good. So honey and Parmesan mash with your salmon there there's a little bit extra for the chef welcome back to the taste test today i fancied a little bit of a treat so i went for some nice fresh salmon and as it was a treat i went for the pimped up mash with the honey uh, the parmesan and you know the thing the thing why salmon has become such a treat is because the cost of it has gone up 
ridiculous. Not in the same levels as other stuff. Now here in the UK, food prices are going through the roof, okay? And salmon in about the last 18 months has gone up about 100%. And it's just wild. And I know there's all lo loads of other products, it's exactly the same. Even some of the basics, you know, pasta and whatever, have gone up crazy prices. I don't know how it can, how it can, how they can sustain it, how it, how it can be sustainable for the people on the street. It's absolutely crazy. But you know, at the moment, I can afford a treat now and again, and I've gone uh, for the salmon. We went for the air fryer, and this is an absolute corker of a recipe. Treated the salmon, then we go for our combination of bread crumbs, and and it takes about 10 minutes in the air fryer, another beautiful air fryer recipe, really, really simple. And really, um, you know, idiot proof, <laughs> so to speak. And we can see uh, that you're looking at, looking at something pretty special. Now, let's, uh, let's just go for the taste test, get it out of the way. I know this is gonna be, I know this is gonna be good. Nice and hot. You know, salmon, fresh salmon, as opposed to the frozen stuff, is almost unbeatable when we talk about fish. It's so meaty, so that fat, fatty flavor. It's so addictive, so luxurious. Um, just a note, my brother doesn't like it. What's a nutter? Um, but this is how you get great, great, great salmon, how you, how you put in some phenomenal flavorings, parmesan, lime. You know, you could tweak this by doing all kinds of different extras, additions, using this as the base, okay? Using the mayonnaise, a little bit of oil, and some flavorings to coat the fish and then add your, your parmesan, your breadcrumbs, whatever you've got, it's gonna be idiot proof. Second helping. so flavorful like sometimes i don't have the words to do this stuff justice and i end up saying i know i say similar sort of stuff every time but i wish i wish i had more words to um to do it justice now this is the mash this had a little bit of milk it had some parmesan and it had some honey so it's definitely a, a bit special oh, honey Honey, honey, honey. You love honey. If you can stick it in something, it's always going to make an improvement. So give this a go. If, you, if, you're, if you're a salmon fan, give this a go for sure. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me get yeah, comments, likes, all that sort of stuff. You know what we like on, on the tube. We like those thumbs up. We like the subscribers. And uh, we'll see you next time for yet another banger. So... Have a good week. We'll see you soon.